Today, I bought the LEGO Star Wars ATST Raider set. Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Studs, and today I bought the set 75254 ATST Raider. Now, this thing comes with four pieces, 540 pieces, is eight for ages eight and up, and retails right now for $40, originally for $49.99 and is absolutely fantastic. Now, I got this one over two years ago. This came out at the end of 2019, and as we are winding down this year in 2021, I wanted to take a look at this. I actually reviewed this a few years ago, but the review was so bad I had to take it down. I'm doing a new one right now. I want to get a good look at this before it retires so you guys can determine if you yourselves want to go ahead and buy this set. Now, sadly, I do not have a time lapse of me building this with uh, the usual format. So we are going to get right on into the review and take a look at all the features. Uh, so I'm going to ask you all to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It'll help me out a metric ton and get out some amazing content to you guys. And tell me if you have this set and if you want to buy another one, if you want to, you know, just have one, if you want to get one that you don't already have or whatever else. Let's go. So first up, we have the box art. Obviously, this depicts the battle in the trees on the planet that this takes place on. I do not remember the name, so do not bother to ask me. Feel free to tell me, actually, in the comments. Uh, but yeah, so you have the Cartoonian Raiders using their ATST Raider, and they're all having a great, you know, fight. Uh, there's some details up there. Now let's take a look at the back. And here are some more details. Obviously, there's a taller box, but you do get a look at all the cool features uh, back here, and then we'll take a look at the side. And again, with these reviews, you guys know I love the consistency with them having all the little things in the side box art. So if you want to line up all your LEGO Star Wars sets, you'll get this beautiful, beautiful side box art so you know which one is. Now, let's move into the figures. Now, first up, we are going to be taking a look at the main, uh, you know, character of the show and this set, uh, the Mandalorian. Uh, now, first off, you know, I have to go through the glaring problems before I praise this figure. Uh, yes, uh, the helmet color is inaccurate it should be a bright silver uh it should be like the new ones that they recently put out uh but it is not it is that dark gray i don't know what they were basing that off of and they were likely trying you know save money uh you know through them having that kind of color already from the death watch uh, another thing is this actual version of Mando did not appear in this scene. He was wearing Beskar armor. That is not their fault. The Beskar armor Mando wasn't actually revealed until it was seen on screen in episode 3. Uh, and then, yeah, that is the other th And the final thing, really, is he has no face printing. Uh, but, you know, again, that was understandable at the time. Uh, it still, still isn't understandable now. I, I still don't understand why he doesn't have face printing. Either way, he does come with his little blaster, which is nice and dandy. I like that. Uh, he is one of, he was one of my favorite minifigures for a while. He was just so cool looking. Uh, you get all the beautiful, beautiful texturing and detailing on the figure, on the legs and the back. And then you also can turn it around and you get some beautiful back printing, all with his like little slug shots for his pistol. Just an all around fantastic looking figure. Figure. I love all the scuff marks. I love this version of Mando. I wish we saw it a bit more before he lost it uh, to the Mudhorn. Uh, but either way, it looks sick, and I absolutely love it. Now let's take a look at Cara Dune. Next up, we have Cara Cynthia Dune of Alderaan, uh, obviously played by Gina Carano. I, I don't know if that was planned or not, but that worked out pretty well. Uh, you know, Carano, Cara Dune, yeah. Uh, she comes with this long blaster. Obviously, that's great. That's not the focus. I want to focus on the figure. First off, they nailed Gina Carano's face print. Uh, this figure obviously went up in value for a while, and we'll talk about a bit more about that later. Uh, it obviously does come with this, and this is very hard to see. Uh, but hopefully, we could zoom in on enough. And you will see a little dot. And it I, I'm pretty sure it, it actually has the little Rebellion logo on there. Which is pretty great. She also comes with, obviously, this beautiful, beautiful torso printing. I think they could have done the arm printing. I would have liked to see, you know, her have her, like, stripes uh, that she has there from, like, being a jumper. She also comes with the, or dropper, rather. She also comes with this beautiful leg printing. Uh, you know, that looks great. And then she comes with some nice back printing and an angry face over here. Uh, obviously, you know, a little more angry Cara Dune. and now let's take a look at the Clatoonian Raiders. So next up we have the first Clatoonian Raider. 
Uh, first off, these guys don't look a ton like the actual ones that appear in the show. Again, I think they were basing this completely off concept art, not the actual show. Uh, and because it just doesn't look like those dog-like creatures. Uh, it looks like more like the weak way pirates, if anything. Uh, but either way, this guy's pretty cool looking. He comes with like this Ultron piece. Uh, this is like the bottom half of Ultron from the Iron Man movies. You also get some amazing printing all around. Just great for pretty much anything. You know, you don't have to use this guy necessarily. And then we'll all just take a look at the other one it's nothing too different same face print pretty much yeah exact same face print uh and, and you do get this nice face you know all cool comes a regular helmet comes with this little like pirate thing i don't even know what to call that again some gr more great details uh, you know some nice back printing uh, but nothing too insane with those guys so now it is time to get into the build of the atst raider so first i'd like to start off with the feet you get these nice little sticker prints here obviously those look nice while i would have preferred it to obviously be printed uh, i think they did a good job with the design on the stickers uh, obviously the walker you know doesn't hold fantastically we'll get more into the leg details you'll see the same kind of sticker uh, you know detailing they just recolor the other side basically to be a darker gray uh, which is nice and then you will move up and obviously it's just pure details i'll talk functionality a bit later uh but you do get obviously both of these white stripes which are fantastic and you get some more red on this side because it is painted red and then you will also notice and i will bring the camera down you do get some great wiring all around here i love the way they did that honestly super creative on lego's part also you'll notice on the side of each legs you do get some printing and we'll move to the other side same kind of deal again just recolored uh, but that is so cool so now i would like to take a look at the functionality of the leg so obviously it is in its most upward position now if you want a more accurate position you could simply just kind of move the legs like this. You can move them really up and down. You'd have them kick a field goal. Um, and this is probably the most accurate position is pushing them as far forward as possible. And then, you know, you just get a good look at all of that, which is fantastic. And then you move up. Obviously, you do get that little platform that is holding the legs together. And let's say to look at. So you will take a look at those wires over there. And they actually all lead to this one, which is at the center of the build, where you get some nice, you know, rustic detailing. It almost feels like one of those, like, steampunk designs i don't know 100 percent about those uh, but but they look cool and then you also will move up even further and you do get some stickering on each side on the other side that little white stripes uh which look great now i want to take a look at one of my favorite details on this set and this is the back area obviously you get these stickers which is all nice and dandy but you also do get these paint roller pieces uh which is fantastic and i really love the way they did that, I'm trying to focus as best I can, but there's just an amazing, incredible level of detail here. And we'll get into like this does in a second, uh, but you will notice there's also the sticker piece right here, and then you will move up, there is those rotating circle pieces, which are fan friggin tastic. Now, if you remember that knob back here, there's a great feature you actually get with these. Whenever you rotate them, you can actually get the head of the ATST to move, uh, which is fantastic. Again, you could rotate this, uh, you'd really rotate it about a 90 degree angle, uh, which is great. You get at least 180 degree angle. I'm sorry, uh, and which is fantastic. And you get a great look at each of these. If you really want to angle this and play around with it, it's super fun. Uh, you know, that obviously was not supposed to come off, uh, but I really do thoroughly enjoy that. Now, let's take a look a bit, a bit at the head, uh, and then we're going to take a look at the interior, and then we're going to take a look at the uh, missile blasters. <laughs> So starting at the front, obviously, we do get a sticker, which is nice. We also get these twin blaster cannons, which are great. Uh, and then you move up, you obviously get these little panels. They like, close up and down. Obviously, a ATSD. Pretty simple. Not, nothing crazy. You also get some detail on the side. Again, these are the regular cannons on the ATSD, like the side, regular side cannons. They rotate all around. Uh, you know, we already went over the back. And then here, this is more of like the missile shooter one. You get some blast holes in there, which is pretty great. Uh, now, let's say look at the interior. Now, the interior is certainly somewhat lackluster. You can fit a singular minifigure right here, uh, which is fine. Obviously, nothing crazy. You do get that sticker piece over there. Uh, and there is this little stud hopper uh, that holds a blaster. And if you would like it to, you could actually get a, say, Clatoonian Raider or hey. I could even get Mando on here. So let's get Mando. And you could just have him stand up and grab hold. And he could basically fire out of the top hatch. 
Uh, much like Chewbacca, so if you are an original trilogy fan and cannot afford to get one of the old ATSTs, uh, then this is a great alternative uh, to you know recreate the scene where Chewbacca threw them out of the top of the ATST, and you get a great look. You know, I just think this is a super fun feature, and I really do appreciate it. Now, the other main feature we get here is simply pressing on these little pieces. You do get to fire off the spring-loaded shooter, and then you could load those right back in. Obviously, great. Those will go missing a lot if you are not careful, but overall, it is pretty cool. Now, I would like to get into my full thoughts on this set. Real quick, let's make this figure better. Take off that helmet, put on this one. Look how much nicer that looks. So, I have a lot of thoughts on this set. Now, the first thing that is kind of unfortunate is this is not an army builder. You get, cannot get multiples of these. Uh, you know, maybe for the Clatoonian Raiders, if that's something you're really interested in, but I don't think you are. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm just assuming, you know, telepathically through the screen. Uh, and, and, you know, overall, it is a nice-looking build, but you only get one of these. Uh, and... You know, I do love the 2016 uh, ATSD that came in the Rogue One line of sets, and this is very similar in the style of that. Uh, you know, obviously, I would hope that one day they release a normal ATSD again, uh, because this one is still nice. I really do like this one. The box art looks great. I love this episode from, uh, you know, The Mandalorian. Not everyone did, uh, but I did certainly enjoy it. You know, I never understood why the Razor Crest couldn't just fly around and blow it up but hey uh and that wouldn't have made for a fun story uh, but yeah so i think i'm going to be giving this set an eight out of ten uh you know obviously back in the day i probably would have given it closer to a nine but obviously i have my problems with like the mandalorian figure uh mainly because that was not the figure that was that was originally in this scene it was best Carmando at this time but i understand why they did it that way and this is still a fantastic figure i i really really love this figure it's one of my favorites for a while you obviously got Cara Dune, uh, which there have been controversies around, and everyone thought the set was going to be like a high-valued item, uh, and it turned out not to be the case because she showed up in the new Light Cruiser, which is still expensive, so she still should be a relatively expensive figure. And yeah, you get some nice other exclusive figures. Everything in here is exclusive. So with that said, I will see you all in the next one. Remember to peace out and stay awesome.